The most important part of a 3D print is the first layer, and getting the first layer right is critical because so many different print fails stem from a bad first layer. I'm Stephen McCulloch from 3DQ, and today's video is the 8th out of 14 on our video series detailing the different failure modes of Quinley Vision, our AI 3D printer supervisor. Today I'll talk about a failure mode we call poor first layer. I'll talk about how Quinley Vision detects it, and how you can prevent it from happening on your prints. So what should be considered a poor first layer? Well, there are a few different ways a first layer can be bad. It could be too far from the nozzle, so that the lines don't really stick to the bed properly. It could be too close to the nozzle, maybe even to the point where the nozzle's digging into the bed. Or it could be maybe a combination of the two, so if the bed is really unlevel, then one side could be too high, the other side could be too low. And sometimes the first layer can get peeled up, so if the adhesion isn't very good, then parts of the first layer won't stick properly and get peeled up by the nozzle as it moves around. So as a human, it's pretty easy to tell if a first layer is going bad. Just by looking at it, if the lines are too far spaced apart or things look really squished, then I can usually identify that something's going wrong. But for an AI, that's a whole different story. Quinley Vision needs to recognize specific details in the image to be able to classify the first layer is a good first layer or a bad first layer. And the first step in that is knowing that it's seeing a first layer. So what we do is actually, Quinley Vision knows what Z height that you're printing at. And if your Z height is say less than one millimeter, that means that the nozzle is really close to the bed and that you're at the beginning of your print. So all the failures that it detects will reinforce the idea that it's a bad first layer rather than maybe some other printing issue. And so the main thing that Quinley Vision looks for when detecting a bad first layer is an unevenness in surface texture. So this will cover the case when the nozzle is too far, in which you can see gaps between the lines, and it also covers the case where the nozzle is too close, in which you can see ridges and bulges on the first layer. If Quinley Vision also detects things like peeling, or stringing, or a detach, then those will only reinforce the confidence that the first layer is bad. The additional failures that Quinley Vision detects on the first layer can also tell us how the first layer is bad, or in what way it has failed. So, if Quinley Vision detects under extrusion and an uneven surface texture, then it's quite likely that your nozzle's too far from the bed and you need to go and readjust your Z offset. Okay, so why do bad first layers happen in the first place? Well, there are quite a few reasons, but it mainly boils down to bed level and bed adhesion. So an unlevel bed will cause the nozzle to be too far or too close to the print surface, causing different issues. So if the nozzle is too far, then you'll get lines that don't connect to the bed properly and might even look like spaghetti. And if the nozzle is too close, then you can get really squished looking lines, or in extreme cases, a nozzle that scratches the surface of the bed. So the best thing to do if you think bed level is a problem is level your bed. <laughs> And if you're using an automatic bed leveling system, then you're gonna want to adjust your Z offset as well, or calibrate it to make sure that your nozzle is at zero when your printer thinks it's at zero. If you think bed adhesion might be the problem, then you're going to want to look at your print settings. So make sure that your material is being printed at the correct temperature. And we find that it usually helps to boost the temperature just for the first layer. So anywhere between five and 15 degrees additional for the first layer really helps things stick down very well. Also make sure to print your first layer really slow and use thick lines and thick first layer height as well. Sometimes the reason for poor bed adhesion is actually the surface of the bed has residue or oils on it. And in that case, you want to clean your bed. Uh, with the vapor beds, we recommend using seventh generation dish soap and water. Don't use alcohol, don't use any solvent, just good old soap and water. So if you want to learn more about Quinley Vision, check out our new interactive game, 3D Printle. Find the print failures and see how you compare to the Quinley Vision AI as well as other players. And that's all for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.